Well, folks, stop rolling your fat doobies around because we got the PS5 Pro leaking out. The Lucia Bruna are getting leaked out once again Bruh. right now. Please like this video. Let's go for two likes on the video because right now we have one of the biggest Xbox fanboy, Dirt Griggity. He's going crazy at them Sony ponies right now. Yay! Yeah! Sony ponies and Xbox Andy's rise up. Roll it. Tom Henderson talked about the PS5 Pro being a real thing and it was set to drop 2024, holiday 2024. Now, a couple of days ago, we saw some crazy specs. 33 teraflops and blah blah blah. <laughs> yeah, honestly, dog, if it turns out to be like 30 FPS gameplay, then man, the Xbox Andy is gonna murder Sony Ponies all. And if it happens to be that GTA 6 is 60 FPS on PS5 Pro and 30 FPS on Xbox Series X, then darn. I am this and this and that. And I was like, get the hell out of here with that bullshit. <laughs> but apparently, <laughs> oh these specs God. were true. Yeah. The PS5 Pro rendering 45% faster than the PS5, two to three times ray tracing, four times in some cases, 33.5 teraflops, PSSR, blah, blah, blah. That you, um, you had... Man, you, four times you, ray tracing, that's can, crazy, you though. Do, you, you want... Yeah, 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 you yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, blah, blah, who gives a shit? But listen... Tom Henderson. Damn man, the Xbox Andy is having a meltdown. But I, but to be honest though, as somebody who's play, who plays on the Sony ponies, like this is hella suspect. Even I have to agree. Even I have to agree. It's hella suspect because on the PS5 and Xbox Series X, it does say 4K, 8K, but does it do it though? Like games are struggling to hit 30 FPS right now, bro. What are we talking about, bro? And this man knows his stuff, and he has Wait some great GTS sources, FPS. some very accurate sources. So the PS5 Pro is set to drop this holiday. Yeah. Now they said it could change because they have no first party games this year. But yeah, apparently the PS5 uh, Pro specs are true. Now, he says tw holiday 2024 release with yeah. no major first no party major games game, seems man. a little erg to me. Releasing in March, April, April 25, 25 against the Switch 2 seems even more erg. Yeah, yeah. Either way, the next 12 to 18 months are looking nice, nice for, for the scalp. scalpers. Man, the scalpers are gonna be like, uh, yo, I'm pretty sure some of you are probably scalpers as well. Uh, one of you might be like rubbing their hands, like sitting in dark right now and uh, getting ready to. Uh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta sell PS5 Pro for double, triple the price. I mean, like, guys, come on, man. Don't sell it for double the triple, sell it for quadruple the price. <laughs> Sell it for a quadruple the price, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like I just way, mentioned, but... Tom Henderson, uh, he, he seems to have some very accurate sources. He does. So he does. yeah, since he's reporting on it, I believe it now. Yeah. Before... He was the first guy to leak the Lucia Bruna as well, though. Battlefield 2042, literally all the recent Call of Duty game releases. Yeah, he, he's credible, actually. You know, you saw the reports about the specs. I thought they were bullshit, but yeah. apparently they're not. They're Tom not, Henderson not. Uh, is, is pretty good with his sources. He, he's so, he's with that being yeah. said, let's go yeah. ahead and talk about the PS5 Pro. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the narrative um, is changing once again. Damn, I just realized, hey, no hit to Dirt Griggity, it's all banter. Uh, I love the guy, I truly do love the guy, but he's an Xbox fanboy, but I still love the guy. He's a gamer, right? Uh, but but it's kind of wild that he always talked crap on PlayStation, rightfully so, right? It's banter. But like, he playing a Sony Pony game in the background. I'm, I'm not sure what's happening there, Dirt Griggity. Like I do, bro. Once again, it always changes. Last generation, when the PS4 was stronger than the original Xbox One, PlayStation guys talked about the power yeah. until the <laughs> Xbox One X came out and then PlayStation started to have more first party games. Yeah. Then it became about the games. Yeah. Now, don't forget, yeah. before the, this Damn, current homie. generation that we're in, the specs for the Xbox Series X was way more powerful than the PS5. Nah, cut the cut the bull crap. It was not way too powerful, but but I have to agree. I believe like Xbox Series X was like 12 teraflops and PS5 is like 10, around 10, right? So it's only two teraflops difference, but most of the games are still coming out at 30 FPS though. We're like, let's be real, man. The standard need to be 60 FPS. And I'm saying both for PlayStation and Xbox. PC Master Race, listen, I don't even want to play on PC even though I have RTX 3090, not trying to flex, but you know, PC Master Master is always like, play on PC, right? We got 120 FPS. The reason I don't want to play on PC is because I feel like that I'll just spoil myself to the point where, because right now my current standard is 1080p, 60 FPS. Bruh. I'm happy if a game is 1080p, 60 FPS. 
And if the game is good, fun, and good, <laughs> decent graphics, I'm happy. It doesn't take too much for me to be happy. I just want to see that Lucia Bruna in 1080, 60 FPS, and I'm gone, son. I'm like, no, you, you feel what I'm saying? But but honestly, right now, like games are struggling to even hit 30 FPS. That's some bull squash, dog. But when the generation started, for whatever reason, the PS5 was running games better than the Xbox Series X. So ponies talk shit. They bragged about the power of the PS5. True, said the true. Xbox Series X was fraudulent. It was. A I'm a witness. I'm a witness. That's that's facts, though. Like the Sony ponies were like literally murdering Xbox Andy's around that time, and right now the Xbox Andy's going hard. They're doing helicopters with their rollies right now. Fraud. Yeah. Eventually, the Xbox Series X started to outperform the PS5 on yeah. analysis videos from Digital Foundry, but now when that happened. The PlayStation fanboy started talking about the games. The games, right? PlayStation has more games. He has Ratchet and Clank. <laughs> God of War Ragnarok, Xbox doesn't have shit. Uh, nah. uh, let's be real. Like, both generations are dry as hell right now. As somebody who plays on PlayStation, you're seeing literally from everyone right now that the games, it just feels so stale. But objectively speaking though like xbox it only got like microsoft flight similar that's goaded uh forza that's goaded other than that bro like y'all suckers have not not like the xbox andy's i mean uh so like phil spencer and the management team literally killed halo uh, redfield redfall right now i'm hearing it's actually not good spot but come on i mean damn starfield starfield like that ain't doing e uh, hot either though so like what xbox got genuinely though genuinely PlayStation, dry as hell as well. Dry as hell. No first party games coming out either. Gaming as a whole is in such a dry spot. Hell Divers, yeah, we can agree that it's decent, but I'm not the target audience. Uh, but that doesn't matter, right? Like, a lot of people are loving it, but it's not like, let's just be real, it's not like a first party AAA, it's more like AA. Uh, and and uh, here we're talking about AAA, but if we're gonna count in AA, I'm sure like Xbox also got some really good AA games. I believe Hi Fi Rush is a AA game, right? That's also solid, people loved it. Not a target audience, though. Same as uh, Hell Divers, both of these games, uh, let's just put them in that same bracket. And, you know, both games are different. We can, uh, you, you can subjectively prefer Hell Divers or uh, Hi-Fi Rush over one, one of the other, that's perfectly fine. But but I, I guess like both parties loved it. What I mean by this is the Xbox Andes and Sony Ponies uh, are enjoying those games, which is actually good. We need more games like that, but we also need more AAA games as well. Now, it's, it's dry as Xbox right has games. Their roadmap is looking incredible. Bruh. Back to the power it goes, guys. Back and forth, back and forth. Here it is. Now you know the craziest thing here, which is now true. <laughs> Yo, man, Phil Spencer bot. <laughs> Xbox Activision and uh, all of a sudden, like, Call of Duty is not their game. Wh which is actually fact, but Fable, I don't know, man. Let's go for two likes on the video for each gender here, guys. Back Fable, to the power. Fable changing the genders as well. Yeah. It goes, guys. Back and forth, back and forth. Here it is. Now the PS5 Pro is announced. And as you guys see, already PlayStation fanboys are out there talking shit. Ether said, bros worry when that Starfield gets ported to PS5, it'll run 60 FPS on PS5 Pro while series still cucked at 30 FPS. You shut your mouth right now, boy. There otherwise, it otherwise, I'll uh, come and uh, slap the herpes off your lips, big boy. Is guys, why is it Starfield always uh, somehow comes out of these PlayStation fanboys' mouths? Starfield has absolutely honestly Starfield was such a hype game though and it had a lot of potential but Bethesda I don't know what happened like th there's a reason why everybody's talking shit about it is because people were really excited it's one of those like things with st uh, cyber uh, cyberpunk as well right right now cyberpunk is considered goaded uh in turn in the eyes of people that are currently playing and as somebody who played it day one Man, I was really hyped for that game, and after playing that, I mean, damn, homie, like, they really did kill that game. But but credit where it's due, kudos to them, because they revived the series, and a lot of people are loving it, and even though I'm not playing Cyberpunk, but I was invested. I still kinda am invested. I'm waiting for their, their next game that they announced not long ago, yeah. either. 
but Starfield was really really hyped up and it was supposed to be like the the next gen game and it came out looking like a last gen game also and it, it, it's wokeified they, they 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 butcher the game uh, and, and there's lack of content there's nothing going on though uh, but but i truly do agree that like a lot of the playstation fanboys are talking crap i think they're they're just uh, they don't have any games to play maybe you know what i'm saying <laughs> that, that, that's probably what it is like both sides don't have any games to play so this is what happens then both sides when there's no games then both sides uh, start like uh, you know crapping on each other and we start like uh, making some bull squash up yeah that's 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 also uh, quite true nothing to do with nothing with the ps5 pro starfield has not been confirmed for the playstation 5 that's true it's but here they not. are saying when starfield releases on the ps5 pro it's just it, it's, it's just banter you know it's just banter it though. will be 60 fps oh my god man when these guys get over themselves isn't it funny how when the xbox one x released it didn't have many first party games to showcase the power yeah when the xbox series x and s released they didn't have a lot of first party games yeah but like i said earlier in this video yeah. xbox has a roadmap that's yeah. unbeatable now <laughs> playstation while they have some third party exclusives right now when the ps5 pro oh. releases if it's this year it's still possible it could be in 2025 yep what are they going to showcase the power mm. third party third party I, I think, and he's about to talk about it right i just saw the chapter yeah i think gta 6 is uh, truly what they're going to use to market uh, and now don't get me wrong i, I believe the gta 6 is going to be on both platform right i don't think there will be any exclusive content or anything uh on playstation or xbox i guess the best thing is probably like some avatars <laughs> um, some like uh, maybe like extra outfit for lucia bruna or something like that on playstation early I, I can see like some exclusive stuff like that but perhaps we're gonna see exclusive marketing happen where they're gonna say plays best on ps5 pro because gta 6 is not coming on pc at least for the near uh for for the foreseeable future right at least it's not gonna be coming out for the for a year or two maybe even longer than that i mean the pc master is crying right now but ps5 pro i think it's uh, truly gonna be designed for P uh, for gta 6 and for the future first party titles but right now there aren't there isn't much going on dog if gta 6 turns out to be bad bruh i'm gonna become a monk and settle myself on a mountain in tibet on december 32nd of that of the year gta 6 releases though yes i know people really feel that playstation is doing this console for one reason and one reason only gta 6 GTA 6 is going to be a huge game. It's going to move PlayStations. How it much does, is this will, PS5 Pro going to be? I have no idea. If it's going to be seven, six, seven hundred dollars, I can't see it really selling extremely well. But I, I think it's uh, easily gonna hit like a uh, like a hundred uh, not hundred. I mean eight hundred. Oh shit! Oh. If you're in if you're in Canada with taxes and if you bundle GTA 6 in it as well but i but realistically i can see it be like 500 to 600 us dollar i don't see it 700 800 come on bro like that's like your xbox fanboy <laughs> the, the inner xbox fanboy of yours talking right now bruh come on man it's not going to be 700 800 but i can see like it being like 500 to 600 us dollars and if you're in canada if you're going to be buying it then it can easily hit up like 850 especially if you like with taxes currency exchange and if you buy bundle gta 6 in it maybe if, if, it, if it turns out to be 600 us dollars then dog it's gonna be 850 without gta 6 oh, shit. I, i'm just saying that that like yeah bro currency exchange plus taxes it's gonna be easily man can a brother get it for two pennies because i can go to china right now and i can get it for a penny bro like size the hardcore fanboys but they really want to really promote the best version of GTA 6 will be on the PlayStation 5 Pro and it will be because it's not coming on PC yeah. at launch. So yeah, that's yeah, that yeah, would yeah. definitely be true. But yeah. these guys they really want to talk about GTA 6. Man, I cannot wait, man. The drama and the sauce is gonna be crazy from both sides. Like, the Sony Pony is gonna be doing helicopters with their release, and if there's one thing that the Xbox Andes find out about, they're gonna try and murder the Sony Ponies. It, I, I, I'm actually really, really excited for that. Man, there is... <laughs> Dude, I don't know if, it's, if this is sad, but, like... I'm more excited about the banter and the drama that's gonna come in with the PlayStation fanboys and the Xbox fanboys rather than the games, man. Like, that is such a... I mean, how did we end up in this position when Sega's don't even get no games? We don't even get no games, dog. 
Where are the games right now? Where are the games? Where are the games? And I'm not talking about single player games. I love single player games, alright? But let's be real. You're gonna play them once and that's it. We need more games like Call of Duty, but alternatives that are better than Call of Duty, right? And we need Call of Duty to be better. Bruh. Hopefully Call of Duty 2024 turns out to be better. As a brown man, I demand free online for both Xbox and PlayStation. <laughs> Like the video if you agree. I feel like that Sony ponies and Xbox Andes are always gonna have their differences and we will never be able to come together as one. But I genuinely believe that on this, this is the only thing that Xbox Andes and PlayStation fanboys can come together on and that is free online. I think this is how you, you know, make sure and th this is how you put sony ponies and xbox andy's in the same room without having a world war raging you know you put them together and you tell them bro forget about the differences let's uh, agree on free online and watch everybody uh become soft as a kitten you know everybody's gonna go soft as a kitten afterward Michael Angelo says, PS PS5 Pro will be the best place to play GTA 6 at, at launch. PS5 opening their first party showcase with Jimbo talking about their Rockstar partnership was a strong signal that they have marked. Uh, yo, Jimbo quit, bro. He peaced out, dog. Jimbo, no more, bro. GTA 6 PS5 Pro bundles are going to do numbers. I'm ready to boot my PS5 into the trash. Now, like I said, PS5 <laughs> Pro is going to uh, be the best place to play GTA 6. No doubt about it. How many of you guys are going to be buying PS5 Pro? One if you would, two if you would not. Um, okay, th on this one, I can see a lot of people buying, especially if you have a PC and you don't have any console, and you love GTA 6, or you want to play GTA 6 rather, I think easily you're going to go with PS5 Pro because that's going to be the best console. Uh, yeah, let's be real. But if you have Xbox Series X and normal PlayStation, would you then you know, get PS5 Pro. I think if you have a normal PS5, you're more than likely to because you know what? You can sell or trade it perhaps. I, I know like same can be said about Xbox Series X, but like if you have Xbox Series X, you got different perks though, like Game Pass. You got different kind of perks, right? But if you have PlayStation, like you're familiar with the brand, you can trade it and maybe perhaps you would have to add another like additional 200, maybe 300 bucks and you can get the upgraded version that way, right? So it wouldn't feel that that high of a price uh, so yeah but if you don't have it then i think you're gonna go with ps5 pro but if you have already like which one are you gonna go with like you're still gonna buy ps5 pro yeah or nay about that but <sighs> this guy is assuming a lot here He's assuming that the PS5 Pro is going to be a nice, affordable console. He's assuming the that Sony has the marketing rights to GTA 6. I mean, it's definitely possible, of course, but that's not confirmed either. So confirmed this guy yet. is assuming a lot right here. He's assuming. Yeah, it's not confirmed, but I think realistically, if Xbox were to also put out a mid-gen console, then I would be like, yeah, I don't think like they're gonna go with exclusive marketing, but the fact that PS5 Pro is coming up and there wouldn't be any mid-gen mid -gen Xbox, I think Rockstar is more than likely not confirmed again, like he's saying he's uh, right on that. Uh, but 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 I think uh, Rockstar is genuinely gonna be like, yeah, please, best on PS5 Pro. And after all, they wanna promote their game on a console that, that, that plays better and looks better because it's gonna, it's in their best interest because they, these Sega's, want to market their game with the best graphics out there i know some of you would be like yo go with pc bro go with pc but the game is not coming out on pc and knowing rockstar they are uh, I, 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 i'm hesitating right now because i could be wrong and we could all be wrong but usually and normally rockstar games they show their gameplays and trailers based on their actual progress their current build right the fact that we saw the gta 6 trailer a lot of people are not believing it, but you know what? One of the ex Rockstar game dev came out, and Rockstar has a history. Whatever they show in their trailers and in their games, that's like the accurate representation. I'm not sure if it's still gonna be accurate representation this time, especially in the year 2024 and 2025. That I'm not sure. There's a whole lot of bull crap happening. There's a whole lot of ESG stuff. Uh, you know, they got a, a whole lot of shark cards, uh, bull crap, a whole lot of mic microtransactions. So maybe Rockstar is getting greedy. I mean, oh hell yeah, they're greedy, but I, I think they're greedy with quality products. You you feel what I'm saying? Minus the GTA Trilogy Defective Edition, but. Yeah, Doing you know a lot of shit. And at the end of the day, we really don't know how much this console is going to be. This yeah. really kind of reminds me with the Xbox One X. Before the Xbox One X release and, and yeah. it was Project Scorpio, a lot of PlayStation fanboys saying the console was going to be $700, $800. 
at the end of the day. It's, yeah, just like how you're now calling that PlayStation 5 Pro is going to be 700, 800. He literally said that. So, I mean, bro. Yeah. But, but yeah, it always happens, bro. Like, Sony ponies and Xbox and this can never come together. This is why I'm saying free online, guys. Free online. This is the war to fight, okay? This is the war that I, I guess uh, Sony Ponies and Xbox Andes can come together as one. Yeah, as a brown man, I demand for free online, bro. They were all wrong because it was $500. Now, will wrong. this PS5 Pro be $500? I, I can see it like 500 to 600, though. 600 max, though. I don't see it being over 600. If they do that, they're delusional. They're out of their mind. And you know what? If you're an Xbox Andy, if you're an Xbox fanboy, Dirt Griggity, if you're watching this video, if you happen to, bro, go crazy. Go crazy. I, I will also go crazy. We're gonna call Sony out on their bow squash. Man, video's gonna start doing good as well because hey, 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 everybody's gonna be mad and understandably and rightfully so. To be honest, for the memes, I, I hope that they make it they make it like six uh seven hundred, eight hundred <laughs> No, man, honestly, bro, like, even I want to get PS5 Pro, so hopefully it's not, like, 700, 800. Bruh. But for the memes, I wouldn't mind it. Guys, recently, this just happened. I'm not sure if you got to see it or not. They are trying to cancel GTA 6. I'm talking about the day them, the woke bullcrap. Click on this video on the screen, check it out, and let me know what you think on it. On the left, though, this video is on my second channel. Uh, I upload UFOs and conspiracies there, so guys, check it out, and I'll see you right there.